So today I'm going to be cooking a very traditional British dish but with a desi twist. I'm going to do an omelette with lots of masala. Start off by cutting one onion into small little pieces and then you're going to grate mature cheddar cheese, perhaps about a handful or you can have more if you'd like. And then you're also going to cut up some small blocks of butter. What's happening, Shane? What's happening? Um, my eyes are not made of steel and these red onions are making them water so bad. <laughs> Why can't you just record me? <laughs> Oh my god, right, come on, Jay. There's probably better ways to crack an egg. You're going to crack two large eggs and you want to whisk them, get lots of air into them. Once you've done that, you're going to want to add all of your spices. Pinch of coriander powder, pinch of cumin powder, pinch of black pepper, which gives us a nice flavour. Pinch of paprika, pinch of haldi. We'll add the salt in later. And again, just gonna really whip these spices in, okay? It's a good workout for your hands. Really want the spices to blend in with the egg. Give it a good couple of minutes and whisk. And at this point, all you want to do is add in your finely chopped red onions. Just a handful will do, no more. Okay. Just give it a good whisk round again. The reason that I like to use red onion as opposed to white onion is because it also adds nice colour and texture to the omelette. Okay, that's all done. And now we're going to go over to cook. Just going to add, all I've done is added a dollop of olive oil into the pan. I just want this to cook just for two seconds, after which I'm going to add in my mix. So you want to make sure that your omelette cooks all the way through. The only way to do that is to make sure that you cook the omelette on a low heat. So as you can tell, the corner's are already starting to cook. So is the middle. Just giving it a little bit of a shake, just to see if it's the whole of the omelette is quite runny. But it looks like the bottom of it is now cooked. And all I want to do is add my mature cheddar cheese. But what you're going to make sure that you do is add it to one side. And then you're going to fold the omelette. push down very gently. As you can tell, the omelette isn't fully cooked through yet. Some people do like to have their omelette quite lightly cooked. So if you do, now would be the time to take it out. If you don't like it raw, then do allow it to cook for another couple of minutes. Next, I'm going to be making a vegan-friendly omelette. You're probably thinking, how's that possible? seeing as how you need to use eggs. Well, I don't eat eggs. This is what I tend to have for breakfast on the weekends. It's called a visimpura, or you can call it a gram flour omelette. And for this, you're going to need 100% pure gram flour, water, green chilies, and the Indian spices that I told you about earlier on. 
very, very simple. We're going to add four large teaspoons of gram flour. It's up to you, between four to four and a half. You just need to look at the texture. And then the next step is to add in some lukewarm water. And mix. You do not want a thick consistency, so add in as much water as needed. And if you can see, it's now become a nice pancake consistency. At this point, we're going to add in the green chilies. This is up to you and how spicy you like your food. For me, I tend to use just a pinch full. I think that's enough. Next, we're going to add in our Indian spices. Pinch full of turmeric, cumin powder, coriander powder, paprika, and if you'd like, just a little bit of red chili powder. Also going to add in some salt. And give this a good whisk. And for this particular omelet, I prefer to have very small, finely chopped red onions. Again, just a handful. If you like onions, you can add more. It's really up to you. Again, just mix this in. You don't need to mix it in for too long. But just again, want to ensure that it's all going into the mix. Just added one tablespoon of olive oil, or you can use rapeseed oil, or again, vegetable oil, it's up to you. Because this is gram flour, you will need this to cook for a little bit longer than it would take for an omelette to cook, and you want this to go golden brown. And that's now turned to a lovely golden brown. Some people do like it a little bit more than this or a little bit less, so again, it's really up to you. And voila, my masala omelette and vegan-friendly omelette. Hmm, let's see what Sunny can come up with. I can't believe you let me in the kitchen. With a knife. A knife! <laughs> Make sure you tune in next week because it's my turn to take over the kitchen. And for me, it's going to be simple. Because you know me, I like to sit in front of the TV instead of going into the kitchen. <laughs>